right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, let's get to business. What's up, everyone? What it do, everyone? It's your girl, Cindy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, as you may have noticed, I got a haircut. Yup. Mm-hmm. I got a motherfucking haircut. <laughs> see the back you see the back all right so I didn't go anywhere professional but my mom cut my hair in this video I want to talk about my haircut and how that kind of represented uh, me feeling some sense of freedom and realizing the importance of embracing change so let's get to it in different stages of your life you just want a haircut like you want something new and you just have the urge to cut your hair and you don't feel comfortable until you actually cut your hair and once you cut your hair you're like oh like I feel new like I feel fresh I've been wanting to get this hairstyle for uh, two months, like three months. I'm in that process of continuing to work on myself. It was just a change that I, I needed, like I wanted to. I had the idea and I wanted to, but I guess I was always so scared. If you know me in person, uh, you know that I tend to have like volume hair like my hair is always like a mess and all over the place and a lot of people tell me that they like my hair and you know I like my hair too and so um, I kind of thought like oh but I won't have my hair like that anymore Just my hair was kind of like my safety blanket like I could cover myself and you know I do have chubby cheeks so I could like hire my chubby cheeks and whatever um, <laughs> I'm just thinking all these things and like oh what are people gonna think what are they gonna say like they're gonna think I'm weird or that the hairstyle doesn't look good on her or whatever so I was just kind of scared of that and it just took me a while my hair was like probably like this long but I did cut it like right here and I had it for like a month or two like that and it was nice but I just felt like I needed to cut it more and so last weekend I was at my brother's house and my mom was there too and just one day I was like you know what like today's the day like I'm gonna get my hair cut like today's the day I've been telling myself I want to do it you know it's just hair like if I don't like it it's gonna grow back like I'm gonna just do it like I gotta do it and so I told my mom I said mom like let's do it let's cut my hair and she's like okay so then we went outside and she cut my hair and that was it like I, I it wasn't like oh my god no like my hair like it was a refreshing moment I just felt like a lot of like the baggage just came off at first I did think like oh my gosh like I look like a boy but whatever but it's fun like I can play around with my hair oh I don't have to like do as much to it anymore but i had to listen to my inner voice like i couldn't just ignore it i felt free more confident i felt happy i felt like i could be myself it was just an amazing moment and i loved it and my mom was like see i i've been telling you for years that you need to cut your hair but you don't listen to me and she told me like you're too scared of change and i'm like what like what do you mean and then she's like yeah when i tell you to do this or or whatever like you're just scared and i've done things that some people haven't done uh, but there's other things where i've kind of been scared and so once i cut my hair off it kind of made me realize that the fears that we have in our minds are so silly they're silly they're like they're fake they're like these fears are not real we all have different fears and obviously there are some things that are dangerous that we shouldn't do but there are some other things that seem scary but they're not really scary for example, like talking to people or making your own business or uh, developing a product or I don't know, certain things that we all want to do but we're all scared because of either our limiting self-beliefs or what other people think. Once you take action and you do the thing that you've been wanting to do, you realize like what the heck? Like that was it? That was, that was seriously it? Like... 
why was I so scared of doing this? Like it was the easiest thing ever and so you realize like it's not that big of a deal. Fear is just weird. You know, you think of society standards and what people say, what people think, what type of looks are praised more. Is you know, hair is one of the main things that kind of make a woman attractive. Like some of these standards are kind of silly. Like I don't need long hair to feel or look beautiful. I don't need to be super skinny with a big butt and big boobs to feel confident and in love with myself i don't need the fancy car to impress other people when i'm struggling to make ends meet you know like certain things that a lot of people get their priorities wrong a lot of people can kind of get lost in trying to please other people but are you happy like, like why are you dimming yourself to please other people like no like, stop cut it out the things that used to matter to you are are really that important like why is there so much emphasis and so much importance on certain things when that shouldn't be the case that shouldn't be the main point for your happiness for your success why are we putting so much pressure on what other people think and say when it don't really matter what if someone says something like oh why are you wearing those shoes you know like odds are you probably don't see this person that often and if you do they probably shouldn't be in your circle if they're always negative and criticizing you instead of lifting you up if people don't like it if they don't like you what you're doing then they're not your people if they don't vibe with your vibe then they not your tribe man like you got to find your people the people that are going to love you they're going to support you motivate you encourage you be there for you and the good and the bad if someone doesn't like it either you cut them off or they're gonna they're gonna disappear because they're not within the same frequency as you are you if you feel that you're called to do certain things and you've been pulling it off because of fear now is a chance to finally do it and once you do it you're gonna overcome it you realize that things aren't that bad like i was just scared for nothing and let's just say if you did take a risk with something and if it doesn't go the way that you planned then that's okay too because what is life without failures you're gonna fail you can't be perfect all the time all you can do is learn from your failures you gotta learn at the lessons what can i do better next time once you start to know yourself more be more aligned with your purpose realize your gifts and talents and you start to embrace it you realize like oh my gosh like i'm 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 this awesome person you know like not to be cocky but you should know that you matter you're awesome you're wonderful you're amazing you have this incredible light within you and that you have these gifts like girl like why are you playing small like why are you limiting yourself and once you start to go on that journey of self-development and following your dreams your mindset starts to shift and you think differently you act differently and you start to be more authentically you it's a good feeling that when you know yourself and you do you do you man do you baby <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate it thank you for being with me on this journey as i continue to evolve more into myself spiritually mentally and physically <laughs> i'm super excited um there's plenty of awesome amazing creative things that are coming that i'm making i appreciate you guys i love you stay awesome stay wonderful and i'll see you guys in the next one bye peace